Hi there, it's Ariel the Artsy Intuitive, and I have this really interesting reading. I'm going to try my best to break it down and explain it in a whole. So, but I just, if you can see, this is kind of like the energy. This is the first card that came up was the Tower in Reverse. And basically from this point, this section over, and then this section over, it tells like, kind of like a story of what I got was the Divine Masculine and part of their journey. And because uh, if you look over here, it is like the Twin Flame, uh, Divine Journey, like the Spiritual Awakening over here. And we have, okay, so we have the Tower in Reverse with the Wheel of Fortune. If we look at it down this way. And the walk away, the Eight of Cups, moving on onwards. Look at what direction that he is going in this way. And Divine Masculine, I want to say also, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, when I use those terms, uh, doesn't have to do with gender. It could be uh, Divine Masculine in a, fem a female body and vice versa. Okay, so, but I, that's just how I say it. Um, so I really read it like the Four of Pentacles is like holding on to something really tight. I also see this card as like the 3D card. Um, very just, you know, the 3D life. Uh, the Matrix, just very grounded, but it's in this 3D lifestyle. Uh, where it you can get tra trapped and caught up in illusions, right? Okay, so... It's like this divine pathway, spiritual awakening. And this is also um, part of the lessons and the journey. So so I read it, the Ten of Pentacles reverse is kind of like holding on to the illusion and um, of the 3D realms. This is the Ten of Pentacles, which is like, uh, you know, abundance and... Um, legacy with family and the happy life with the family and and I, f I felt like it was holding on to the illusions of the matrix and that's why this is in reverse okay also this energy of waiting for your ships to come in waiting for this wheel of fortune to turn so it's almost like they were awaiting this tower to fall it's in reverse so I feel like it's double Tower energy, this tower hit, especially with temperance right here, assisting the masculine to balance out the energies. Uh, this is like a spiritual awakening with the will of fortune and walking towards this journey. The three of wands, awaiting for something to occur. But this is kind of the that matrix of, um, you know, just... Uh, just illusions of the 3D life and it, you can only get so far and eventually your soul wants you to waken, wake it, waken up, wake up to, especially if you're a twin flame, especially look at what's right on the other side of the wheel of fortune is the lovers, is this divine connection that you have, okay? So, I, and then we have the seven of uh, swords, so this is lots of, um, like, block it, blockages, Okay, blocking out this connection, just blocking uh, communication out from the Divine Feminine. You know, that has happened with um, some of the Divine ma Masculines of just, of that it's too strong and uh, it's over, it's overwhelming. And this King of Pentacles, this King of Cups here. Okay, so let me, let me backtrack. Hold on. <laughs> this is the Wounded Warrior. The Five of Pentacles being left out in the cold. The Seven of Swords is like sneaky behavior, um, lying, um, just uh, what goes along. I, I feel like these energies kind of go along with um, this kind of like matrix energy of people stuck in just their minds and pentacles and, and all, all the life is about is, is this, this, and this because of programming. And I'm not making any judgments because I'm just, I want to, I'm just as part of the journey, okay? Like, um, but it's very, can be very dense and heavy as far as for the Divine Masculine because of what they carried in, what they've been programmed with, not being able to show their emotions, 
and being the provider, okay, being the provider, and really locked down on, on, um, you know, these basically toxic situations, toxicity, um, being felt bound to something, uh, there's deception, lies, trickery, the wounded warrior, he's, he's been, he's persevering, uh, I also, because of this right here, I felt like it's divine feminine, feeling some regrets and remorse and just of feeling like left her out in the cold. But however, this is the thing. It's all part of the journey. It's all part of the journey because what, hap what had happened is, is it led the divine feminine to come into her true power and to give herself that self-love, you know, and grow in her essence, especially with the pentacles and, and working on herself and her home, home life and, and building herself up with all that yellow, that solar plexus energy, but you know, having regrets and, um, feeling wounded from, from just being in this energy, the wounded warrior over here, very guarded, protected. This is like the messenger, the page of wands blocking communication. Um, just being, uh, just, I would just say an energy of, yeah, I mean, I basically said it, just like resist, resisting it, uh, resistance, what you resist persists, so that is part of the lesson of the spiritual awakening, blocking any third eye, you know, whatever, it's blocking that, very guarded, this is guarded, um, being, feeling like being picked on, feel like it's almost like this is also combined with this energy is very like victim mentality. Life happens to me. Um, and we, we all, we all go through that. And once we like can, that's why self observation and going within is so important because you reflect and you see like, that's not the truth. Okay. The truth is, you know, I am this powerful, um, uh, being of light you know, coming in, so now we have the King of Pentacles and King of Cups, which is cool because it's showing that he's evolving, okay, he's evolving, he's building up his Pentacles, you know, he's building up his life in stability, he's got a, he's got a little bit too much though, I don't know, like, he looks like he's hoarding, uh, <laughs> just joking, but um, the King of Cups, you know, he's, he's holding in his emotions in a way, but he's, He's learning how to balance his emotions. He's a king of cups. Um, but what's really cool is we have this ace of wands. This is like with the three of wands. It's like there's something within him that is leading him to this journey right here. Okay. That is leading to this awakening, spiritual awakening. Because this ace of wands is, is like a spark, a new, a new spark. It's brand new. It's coming from the divine. With the Three of Wands, he's waiting for this cycle to ch turn. And yet, see this openness? In a way, he's got to let, let down his guard and open himself up to the Divine Feminine, which is also opening up th to the Divine Feminine, to the Divine Goddess, the Mother Goddess energy with, within himself, which the Mother Goddess energy is very supportive, very nurturing. So if you have, if as a masculine, you have opposition to that energy, then yes, it's going to be challenging to like open up to, to all your divine blessings because the goddess energy is beautiful. It's the creation energy. It's very nurturing and supportive. So feeling open. So he's starting to let down a little bit of his guard. He's being more open. And the way, the way we have temperance with justice and the emperor on top, it's beautiful. Like the way, okay, look at all these angelic energies. We have temperance, the lovers, look at all the angelic guidance, angel, angel, angel. Like that is gorgeous. So this tower hit, right? Tower, double tower. This tells me that this has already happened. I feel like this has already happened for this group. And they're moving along now into this journey. What's really beautiful is we have the four of wands in the middle of the lovers and the devil in reverse. So there's also the journey of letting go of 
these toxic, what's the difference? You know, what's the difference between um, a healthy, harmonious connection, bridging, you know, bridging the 3D and 5D and bringing this 5D energy into the earth, onto the earth, right, with this four of wands, okay, they're celebrating, and, like, what's the difference of, and then there's, like, the 3D old template of relationships, of toxicity and, and codependency and being bound, and that's why it's in reverse, okay, and the emperor is here, I feel the divine masculine is, once he steps into this path, into this journey, okay, she, you know, it's like temperance is, is, a, is guiding tons of angels, like l lots of angelic guidance for the divine masculine and his higher self. The team is supporting you, divine masculine. I just want to throw that out there. Okay. The walk, oh, the walk away from all of like the seven of swords energy and, and holding on too tight to, and to illusions. Like, you know, of course you, we live in this world, you need pentacles and, and whatnot and stuff, but this is deeper, this is, this is deeper, this is conditioning, programming, um, yeah, so, the tower hit, boom, Will fortune, shifting to this connection, realizing, realizing, accepting also that, okay, I'm part of this journey, I'm a divine masculine, and this is m way bigger than what I thought it was, um, this is about enlightenment. This is about growing. This is about my soul's growth. My soul wants to be the, in this full energy, wants to take a, a, a leap of faith. I love how the emperor and the full energy are together with justice on his side and temperance. Justice, balancing out the scales, balancing out the karma, you know, um... A lot of the divine masculines that that have faced their karma and have faced their their challenges and faced it head on that's why this is in reverse are moving f fast and swiftly and courageously like the fool towards not only the divine feminine but this journey like i am really proud of this wave of masculines because they could have just kept ignoring and ignoring um that and and a lot of them are actually facing it and um that's why it's important as divine feminines we face we face our inner shadow we face our inner self we we grow we heal because that in return in reflection helps them heal it's how it works is how i feel so <laughs> judgment it's like judgment time it's time like you need to i love the way it looks like the feminine's like oh I knew you were coming, angel of, of ascension. And he's like, what? He looks all surprised. The mirror reflection or the them on the other side. Judgment time. And the strength card, divine feminine has come in and helped tame, tame the masculine in a way, helped heal him. It's an infinite, it's an infinite connection. It's, it's always continuously going. Uh, it's just gorgeous. I had to share this, even though I was like, how am I going to explain this? Because it is, it is, uh, I kind of had to sit with it for a little bit. And now I'm starting to see what, what we're talking about. So, and then we have the chariot energy, which is moving forward and balanced with the temperance. That's beautiful. If you look at it different ways, but the fact that the wheel of fortune is in the middle with the tower and this eight of cups, walking away from what no longer serves you and you know your emotional health your emotional well-being divine masculine is important okay like and so the angels are calling you in they're assisting you archangel michael has been helping this group this wave or the waves masculines period and feminines and he's just an awesome archangel um, so this is just really gorgeous. The emperor being in the full energy is really beautiful, uh, because the emperor can be very, you know, stoic and just very, um, you know, a little bit stiff there, but with a fool with the emperor, I like that energy and all that red, this fiery passions also, uh, building with the divine masculines as well. 
with the Ace of Wands, wanting that new beginning. So, in a nutshell, this is a message of the Divine Masculine's journey. Part of their journey, I don't know what to call it, it just it is what it is, is the message that came out. So thank you very much. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't. Like, share, comment below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.